Alright, so let's start off with a new template. I'm going to be naming it background just so it's easy for me to find. And now I'm going to be changing the size to 1920 by 1080. And I like to pin these to the background, it's just easier for me to work with. So now I'm going to be choosing the colors I want to use. So here I am choosing the secondary color. And then I'm going to go into the gradient paint bucket and I'm gonna go in here to the presets and see if there's a preset that I like um, and I am actually gonna show you some different presets that you can use there's plenty in here to choose from so I'm pretty sure you'll find something that you like so here is a subtle one and then this one I really like and I'm actually going to be using it and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna change this blue part of it there I go so if you don't like any of these ones you can hit that little arrow on the upper right hand part of the little gradient and there's a bunch of presets to choose from so I'm pretty sure you'll find something or you could just use a solid color that works too but what I'm gonna do is duplicate the background layer that I created with the colors and start adding some dots using the paintbrush in varying sizes and once you get little dots on here we're going to go into the blur effects and choose Gaston blur and you're going to be blurring each layer so then I'm going to duplicate the layer I just created and go in with some more dots And I do have this set to color dodge, so you see on the right hand side the dots are actually a pink color. This is because it's bringing out the pink undertone of that purple. So now I'm going to be varying the size again for the third time and adding these on here. And then you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to blur that out and then you're going to duplicate the layer you just worked on. So like I said, vary the blur depending on each layer. I like to have the very back layer be more crisp and then the more front layers be more crisp and the middle layers just be kind of blurred out. This gives the most natural looking effect, I feel, and I just really like how it looks. So going in with the Gaston Blur again, this one is going to be less blurred than the other ones. And I'm going to duplicate one more time and add another sized dot here. So once you're happy with it, what you're going to do is you're going to blur one last time. And this time, it's usually very lightly blurred. It's hardly blurred at all. But to me, that gives the best effect. So here it is all done. And you're just going to save it once you're done blurring it. And I really like how this one turned out. It looks really cool. And now I'm going to show you how to use a picture to get the same type of effect. So here's my picture and I'm just going to start off by blurring it so that you don't see any lines and it's literally just like a big smudge of color. So this is actually very heavily blurred. And then I'm going to start off by going in with dots. I'm going to use larger ones because I'm going to add a different effect a little bit later, so I like how this one looks. Duplicate again, add in some more dots, and then you're going to blur that out. I wanted these to be the same blurred effect, so I didn't blur each specific layer. And I'm going in with some really small ones. and then I'm going to blur those separately and have them be less blurred and now I'm going to go in with these really large ones and again all of these dots are set to color dodge and then I'm going to blur that out ever so slightly and duplicate once again Now I decided I'm going to change the dots to more of an outlined thing so it looks kind of like there's bubbles. So I'm adding a larger bubble effect. 
And then I'm going to go in with a smaller version of this. And then the really bigger ones. And then all of these are on the same layer. So then I'm just going to blur these so they're all the same amount of blurred. And then I really wanted to use these stars, so I decided I was going to go in with some smaller stars. And then use a larger version of the star. And then once again, these are on the same layer, so then you're going to go in, use Gusson Blur, and blur these out to how you're happy with them. Again, these weren't very blurred, so yeah. And then you can change the color balance on this if you want to change the color once it's all done. Um, I'm not changing it, but I'm just showing you what you can do with it. So just changing all of the different colors like the cyan, magenta, and green, and yellow, and all those, all those colors. And then finally, this is what it looks like, and you're going to save it.